battled in one of the greatest Super Bowls ever. Intercepted at the goal line by Malcolm Butler. Now they meet again for the first time since. It's the Seahawks and the Patriots on Sunday Night Football. On a cool and clear night in New England, we're at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Massachusetts, as the Patriots take the field. Super Bowl 49, what a game that was as the Pats beat Seattle and tonight. Russell Wilson leads the Seahawks into town to meet Tom Brady and the Patriots on Sunday night football. The last season for the Patriots. James White starts in the backfield. He catches a lot of passes, and right off the bat, he catches the first pass of the game. Numbers of catches of 41, and it's third down and five. Brady fires, that's caught, and there is Gronk. Gronkowski having a spectacular season. What they do now is they split Gronkowski all the way wide to the left. Brady will go the other way, throws it to White, and White is... Now Brady goes empty and throws to the back corner of the end zone, and there's the flag. And that's going to make it first down and goal. Defense, number 31. But clearly a foul. Agreed. And now from the one, they give the ball to Blunt. And LeGarrette Blunt, no signal yet, appears to be stopped just shy of the goal line. It'll be now it's a touchdown. So there's the delayed call. As the official comes in, sees where the ball winds up, then LeGarrette Blunt is into the end zone. So they cap off this drive, and it takes just a 441 but has played in every game and has led this team to a 5-2 and 1 mark second down and 10 off play action goes deep downfield and lays it in perfectly to Tyler Lockett Wilson glancing up at the play clock down to three and on third and four he fires and that will be not caught incomplete a 27 yard field goal attempt John Ryan to hold and how's good Seattle now starting from the 21 Patriots on top seven to three Kristen Michael is in the backfield fake to him and Wilson's going to go down but there is a flag sometimes it shows second and 17 at the 14 and Wilson fires and that's uh, juggled and then caught facing an empty set here five wide for Wilson on third down and he lost it and it's broken up at the 50 yard line. A flag is down however Justin Coleman who was beat. Pass interference. Defense number 22. Now you've got four receivers bunched to the left side. And Wilson goes that way underneath and they're going to get the first down as precise. Well, had a take it down taken on him. Play action. And a tight roll, and then the pass along the sideline is hauled in. Took a lot of to get up to full speed, but looked like he was at full speed last Monday night. Wilson now throwing, and that is incomplete, intended for a curse in the end zone. 31 yard attempt for Hauschka is just inside the right upright from the 28 yard line. Brady hangs in the pocket with some pressure, and you get all kinds of action going on, and no flag. Procise is the running back here from the 35. Play action. Wilson flushed out, fires on the run, caught up at the 45. Jimmy Graham in the second half, and they were the first two months. Then you go to Wilson from the 49 yard line. Wilson fires over the middle, has his man, that's Jermaine Curse, and he gets tackled. Final word with Procise. And then they give it to him, and he breaks it into New England territory. Second and five, again, they bunch those three receivers to the right side, got a busted play, I looked like anyway, Kristen Michael for two field goals. Toss. A sweep to the left side. And it's. And they go to Baldwin and he makes 
the catch. He beats Butler for the touchdown. So that marquee matchup he puts a move on him, spins around, makes the grab into the end zone. So that drive is over. Hauska for the point after, and the kick is no good. It was tipped. And he's done it a ton through the years. He does it again here. Empty backfield. Look at that protection. Also, the coverage is terrific by Seattle. And now Brady's going to launch one all the way downfield into double coverage and have it picked off at the 21 yard line. Deshaun Shedd, and that's the first interception thrown by the Patriots this season. Gilliam undrafted. You know, it's almost like they went to Filene's basement for the offensive line. Speaking of uh, Boston, as long as they're here. Wilson, and he can't escape this time. Rob Ninkovich. Been doing that for a lot of years for the Patriots. 11th season. I was like, who is this? I didn't even know who he was. Tried a couple deep throws. No more. That was at the end of the game when uh, Sherman said, you mad, bro, and tweeted it out. Catch was made by Martellus Bennett. It's the last time these two teams faced each other. <laughs> and uh, at the end of the Super Bowl, it was uh, Brady who was the one, the victor. James White is split. And Julian goes into the slot. Is caught by Edelman and he's going to get taken down and a flag. He's got taken down by the head. Richard Sherman said, Hey, no, I got him by the shoulder. And the official says, I'm right, I'm right here. The proof is in the Close replay the pudding. Face mask, defense number 25, 15 yard penalty. Well, I, you, that, I think he's right again. Yeah, I, I think so too. Brady throwing and that's incomplete. And Gronkowski gets popped. Well, he took a shot. He's going to knock this ball out, and then Earl Thomas is going to make Gronkowski pay. You cannot draw it up any better than that. Make that big guy pay a price for coming over the middle. That's not a great idea. Ran right into the middle of the Legion of Boom. Brady now on second down throwing, and that's off the back shoulder, and it's perfectly placed. And Martellus Bennett. And I think now Tom's starting to come back to that. And 11 passes to Shane Vereen, most of those horizontal. Brady now opens Bennett again inside the five. He sets up a first down and goal from the one. Give it to Blunt. And he will work his way, waiting for the call. And there is his touchdown. Just keeps on churning those legs. Sice out wide. You have to keep an eye on him. Five receivers. Again, only a two-man rush. Now they send the man in delayed and open at the 34-yard line and making the catch is Tyler Lockett. But he's starting to play like Russell Wilson again. Well, last Monday night and tonight for sure. Now Wilson fires over the middle. Pro Sice is going to get it to the 19. They don't have a timeout, so they want to get up there and get to the line of scrimmage. Going to spike it here or run a play. Pressure seconds ticking off the clock. 14 seconds now. Wilson dancing around. You better be careful. Oh, here. yeah, very. And then oh. in the catch is Doug Baldwin. He gets free for the touchdown. Wow. Very, yeah, very much like the Super Bowl at the end of the first half. Third down and three at the 32 yard line. Wilson. Line doing its job here, and then he almost has it intercepted by Hightower. 2000. He said, "No, retirement wasn't for me." And then, of course, he went on to great success at USC. And Brady gets jostled as he throws. There's a flag down though at the 10-yard line. That may have been what foul. was called. Roughing the passer. Defense number 31. Third down and four. A lot of shuffling among the defensive personnel prior to the play. Brady now throws over the middle. Edelman gets free. Still on his feet and finally slugged it down to the 45 yard line. Seahawk 45. Play action and Brady's going to get sacked. 
Again, the secondary did its work. And Second sack for Reed this season in his rookie year. Brady now throws and making the catch and picking up a lot of that. Third and two, play clock at one. Brady fires over the middle, finds his man, finds Danny Amendola. Brady's completed 15 passes tonight, only four to wide receivers. Now to the ground again. There's Blunt off to the races. The ability to split him out wide as well, almost unstoppable. And Devlin ran Wagner over. Now Blunt again, left side all the way and touchdown. Three touchdowns. He leads the league in touchdowns with 12. And Mr. Devlin. A couple of sacks here in the last few games. The way things are going, he can see Sheard in Cleveland next week. Never mind. Second and four. Wilson throws, and that's wide open. That is caught by Paul Richardson, and he goes all the way to the 30-yard line. Already 77 rushing yards for Seattle, which about equals their season average, and they've done that in less than three quarters as a little pass. Second and goal. This time Butler goes with Curse, who sets up on the right side. And Wilson is going to get spun down and sacked at the 15 by Trey Flowers to try to give Seattle the lead. Ryan puts it down, and Hauska's kick is good. Raise $500,000 this year. Brady escapes, moves in the pocket, throws, and that's caught. He's still on his feet is Bennett all the way into Seattle territory. He has been a stud tonight. Just trying to get used to him, but you could tell just no timing on that one. Third and 25. And Brady deep downfield for him to make the catch. He had help over the top. Earl Thomas came in. Sherman was in the area. Got by Deshaun Shedd on that play. A second down and goal. Brady flushed out. Brady's going to try to take it in, and he slides. Broken arm. It was it really kind of turned that game. Same play. Third and goal. Brady under pressure. Get him by the shirt, and down he goes at the 13-yard line. Frank Clark. Gostowski now for a 30-yard field goal, and there is your sixth lead change. He does have a sense of humor. There's, oh, yeah. there's no question about that. 37-yard line. Wilson will dump it off as he got chased in the backfield, and it's Graham taking the ball all the way to the 40. And Wilson going deep, and the catch is made at the five yard line, Procise, setting up a first down and goal. Gilliam is eligible to tackle, and get Procise. And so he fronts Procise on a second and goal. Rookie has it again. And Procise. We're waiting. We're waiting. Third down. Stopped him short. Procise is the running back. Now you got action up front. And who's this one going to be on? They're going to shift down. And as soon as they do that, mm -hmm. you saw the flinch. Ball start. Offense. Five-yard penalty. Lockett comes to the left side. And the pass is too high. This will be his fourth of the night. And their gang it made his fortune at Microsoft and runs a heck of a franchise, I'll tell you that. Ball the two-yard line. Cyrus Jones up the middle and down the sideline. He loses the ball. And rolling over at the 43-yard line, the Patriots are going to wind up with the football. To very well have an eighth lead change here pretty soon. Second down and 10. Brady fires. It's Edelman. He makes the catch. Oh, the 38th, and the ball is out. The ball is out. And it's still alive. And Richard Sherman winds up with the ball. Now, the question is... Belichick obviously can challenge when they take a look Rolling at the replay. On the field is a fumble recovered by Seattle. First down. I agree. 
Cam Chancellor, I think, is the one that got it out of there. Yep. Precise in the slot right there if they want him. And a lot of five wide tonight to do again. Does he get the first down? He does. Wilson throws on the run. Caught at the 22 Jeez. yard line. Russell Wilson, he's going to see the gap to his left, sprint through there, and then like the second baseman. That's one that's turned into a one on one battle right here. And a big third down, third and three. Four and a half to go. Wilson throwing, and it is caught for the touchdown. Doug Baldwin, and that's the hat trick. Hadn't scored in five games and now has three touchdowns tonight. They cash in on the turnover. And now, interesting. The, yeah, with a seven point lead, they're going to go for two. Try and put them away. Yeah, I, I get it. I understand this. I think it's a pretty good call. We'll see in a minute. No, it's not a good call. <laughs> <laughs> interesting. Malcolm Mitchell, the young rookie in the game in this moment. Number 19 is Brady throws, and Bennett's had a huge night on seven catches, second and two. Line does its job, Brady has time, and there's Mitchell. You're just talking about him. Third and ten. Brady throws it. Edelman is there, and he makes the catch and spins down to the 24 yard line. From the 24, Blunt he is Devlin out in front, and this time busting through and taking him down for a loss. Feet within that one yard limitation, no foul. Second and four, they got it right. Now Brady going deep, and Stronkowski oh. somehow, <laughs> some way, makes the catch. Next to impossible. Oh, stop it. Watch this play, and this is on a corner. First and goal. Taking as much time off the clock as they can. Brady's going to try to burrow his way in. Possible. Meanwhile, second down and goal. Here's Blunt. And he is nothing yet from the officials. If he didn't get in, that was Cam Chancellor once again making this play, coming around the edge and just grabbing the legs and not letting him cross. It's third down and goal. You got Gronkowski who'd lined up as the fullback. Now they split him. Lunk is the running back. Does Brady sneak it? He tries to. Oh, he loses out. the ball. He loses the ball, so he doesn't get in number one. If Seattle recovered, the game is in effect over, but it looks like Brady winds up with the ball. And watch how soon Brady moves here. He's actually on the move, and I think it threw off the timing. And now a flag. 12 men, defense. Penalty is half the distance to the goal. Here comes Devlin. Now Gronk splits out. Usually a fade to Gronkowski here. And all kinds of action in the end zone. They look for a flag. They see none. Chancellor with a coverage. And Seattle's going to win it. Let's take a look. Chancellor, he knows it's coming. Gronk knows it's coming. I think they got it right. You know, there's a, who initiated, who's pushing, who's tackling, who's grabbing. Yeah, they both were. Yeah. Or to even you take a, a safety. And New England can use its final timeout, and Seattle's going to have to run one more play. Second and ten. And that's going to make it official. So it's a short week. Come across the country, Seattle to Boston, about as far as you can go in the National Football League. It'll be a fun ride home, though, to get back around five or six in the morning. But the embrace between Belichick and Carroll, they go back a long way. And how much do you think this game means to Pete Carroll?